need a glass of wine. What's new? Don't start. I don't think we should go down and confront them. Are you mad? Oh, we can't stay here. Well, they might just have, like, nipped back for something. They might go in a minute. Richie, their back door's open. What? Right, stay here. Martha! We'll protect you. I don't believe it. Richie! What are you doing in my house? We're taking Marta. Like hell you are. <laughs> Leave him alone! I'd get out now if I were you. Not without Marta. Stronger than this. Yeah, ambulance, please. What's going on? Uh, a man's taking some pills, he's barely conscious. What are you on about? That's my sinus medication. I only took two. Oh, I, I, I did drink. Most of that, but I had help. We gave her a good send off. So you want to try topping yourself? Did I heck? Or my head's killing me. I'm really sorry, I've made a mistake. He's all right. Uh, I could do it a couple of aspirins, so. though. It was the most horrendous experience of my life. And then afterwards, it was the shame and the guilt. How could he do something like that to you? I would never really forgive me. You have tried to save your family. No, he didn't see it like that. It destroyed us. Got your text. You wanted to see me. Come sit down. I'd rather stand to think. There's no easy way to say this. You're with feeling, aren't you? I didn't break up with you for him. So it was just because you didn't want me? It's actually worse. Michael, we just weren't working anymore. We were all right till he turned up. Thanks for telling me. Michael, I, I never planned to hurt you like this. No. That would make you a psychopath. <laughs> What you're doing is illegal. No, what you're doing is illegal. Keeping someone prisoner. Breaking and entering. What would the church say? You told us she'd gone back to Poland. Marta, tell them to leave. I want to go with you. Please, I can't stay here anymore. Tell them to leave. In the case, your family will suffer. No, please. Please don't hurt my family. I don't know what hold you've got over here, but it stops and it stops now. Yes, it does. Get out. Or oh, what? You're going to phone the police? No? No, I will. No, get off her! She should have told your nosy friend to stay away. Now she's going to get hurt. I'll finish it! Why didn't you tell me sooner? I thought you'd be disgusted. I am. With him, not you. I think that scumbag strut around telling people you had an affair. Yeah, well, I don't care. Yeah, well, I do. No, Kevin, please, just, will you please just leave it? Well, after what he did to you? The last thing I want is it all raking up again, and I don't want Faye knowing. Don't want Faye knowing what? Hey, hi, sweetheart. Well? Um, nothing. Is it that you two are about together? <laughs> it's about time. What's for tea? I'm starving. I'm gonna do as a veggie stew. I need to get some carrots. Cool. You staying, Kev? Um, maybe. Nice one. All right, it'll be with you soon. All right, bye, love. Stop it. Someone could walk in. Oh, let them. Come on, Michael knows now, so does Jason. What are we hiding it for? I'm wary. Don't tell me you're worried about what the gossips will think. 
know more about it going public and then it all falling apart tomorrow. Well, why would it? I've told you I don't have much luck with men. Oh. Your luck has just changed. Will you stop it, please? Stop some... talking. Why do you answer my calls? I must have dropped my phone. You all right? Yeah. I'm sorry. What for? I'm not believing you. Did the police say how long they'll be? The car's on its way. Good. They can arrest you for breaking and entering and you for assault. Oh, we could just tell them the truth. It is. Now that you've been keeping a domestic slave. <laughs> Got no proof other than the word of a thief. You've been keeping a terrified girl padlocked in a room. I'd say things don't look that good for you. You don't want to lose my business. I don't want to work with a guy like you. Without my contract, she could go under. You'll be putting all those girls on the dole. Don't listen to him. Oh, you want to be a do-gooder? Think of your employees, your family, your dad. Look, I'll let Martha go. I'll even pay for her flights. God, no, she's a terrible housekeeper. We won't miss her. Well, that'll be the end of it. Win-win. She goes home, you keep your factory, Priest keeps his job. Yeah, and Martha gets no justice. You know, Richie, I always let you win at ping-pong. I'm not letting you win anymore. I am never... Drinking again. Good. Get that coffee down, you. Yeah. Yes, miss. Why are you here, anyway? We found this at the salon. In the lost property. Reeve Ghosh. She always wore that. She wore it when we first met. How was the funeral? It only took 20 minutes. Seemed a very short goodbye for a very long life. It wasn't long enough, though. I can't imagine how much you must miss her. This whole house is her. That chair, the table. That picture, she bought that from a junk shop when we were on holiday. Convinced it was a lost masterpiece. <laughs> she even took it to an antique dealer who told her it was only worth about a fiver. <laughs> yeah, she still loved it, though. What am I going to do without her? Right, you know, I think all this power is an aphrodisiac. In that case, Sally Metcalf for Prime Minister. <coughs> oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. No, oh. obviously not. There you go. Oh, you shouldn't have loved. Mum, anyone that gets one over a Norris Cole deserves a reward. Well, though I do say so myself, it was a landslide victory. I couldn't be more prouder of my gorgeous wife. More proud. Hey? You couldn't be more proud. You're going to have to watch your grammar, Tim, if we're going to be attending all these functions. What, what functions? Banquets and balls and the theatre. It's going to be so much fun. Right, well, I'll leave you to it. Aren't you going to celebrate with us? Well, it looks like you two want to celebrate alone. Got <laughs> off the pilot. Now, where were we? About here, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't answer it. Mm. Oh, no. oh, no caller ID. It could be important. Hello, Councillor Sally Metcalf. Oh, hi, Charlotte. How nice of you to ring. Oh, yes, I'm very much looking forward to it. Oh, just hold on a minute while I look in my diary. Go upstairs. I'll be up in a minute. You don't have to stay to the tea if you don't want to. Well, well, you want me to? Yeah, I do. I just don't want you to feel like you have to. Evening. That's all. Lovely one, isn't it? Oh, no, Kevin, don't. Oh, we must have dinner sometime, all of us. That would be delightful. Oh, please, please don't. They broke into her house, smashed her window. She was in on it. Slow all... down, Mrs. O'Driscoll. We need backup on the CSI. Then she tried to attack me. What? 
My husband tried to pull her off, but he punched him. No, that is not what happened. They were trying to free me, and they kept me prisoner here. This woman is, uh, was my domestic help. They paid her to lie, officer. And this man, Mr. Connor, is trying to incriminate us because he wants out of a business deal. That's a lie. My wife's telling the truth. Unbelievable. I'm afraid you're all under arrest. But, 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 but there are a variety of allegations here. The facts speak for themselves. Uh, bribery, yeah. attempted abduction. I swear down, I'm going to swear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Further threats of assault. Eva Price and William Mayhew, I'm arresting you on suspicion of criminal damage. Good. Richard and Julia O'Driscoll, I'm arresting you on suspicion of offences under Section 1 of the Modern Slavery Act 2015. Hang on a minute. Aidan Connor. I'm arresting you on suspicion of assault. He was going for Eva. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Any chance of some service round here? One second. Hey, boyfriend. Where are you? I thought you were coming to keep me company. Dead in your churchyard round here. What? Oh. Hurry up. What'll it be? Same again, Scotch. Hello. Oh, that's not a happy face. Eileen's going out with Phelan. Oh, I'm so sorry. No way, you with? <laughs> oh, thank you for not kicking off before. It's only because you oh, begged me not no. to. If he had my way, then you'd be doing exactly the same thing as Owen, and I'm not going to go through all that again. It's more than I can take. Yeah, okay, okay. You know, feeling already ruined one relationship. I won't let him. So you do have a relationship? I don't know what I want. I do. You. Everything you've explained tonight me has made me more certain of it. It's okay. I'm sorry. Oh, so am I. Maybe I should go. How's the bacon sarnie? Stunning. Said he was a marvellous cook, but she would not cook me a bacon sarnie. Why not? Veggie. Oh, she'd cook roast, chicken, pies. But she'd not cook bacon. Said it always tempted her back to the dark side. <laughs> I suppose there are some perks being without her. <clears throat> oh, Freddie, I wish I knew what to say. <sighs> What can you say? It's life. Folk die. It happens to all of us. You ever lost someone close to you? No, not, not really. You will. And you'll get over it. You think you won't, but... I remember when me, me mum died. I actually saw her go, and that was weird. Watching someone take their last breath. Something just disappears. A soul? I don't know, but that person is gone. And there's just a husk of a body left. Oh, sorry, love. You're young. You don't want to be thinking about death. Now, what I was going to say was, before I got sidetracked, is that I don't want you to worry about me. I mean, when someone dies, you feel your whole life is over and that you won't be able to carry on. I feel like that at the moment, but experience has taught me that you do get over it. And gradually, the pain will fade, and one day you'll even find yourself laughing again. You'll have pangs. 
but you'll be living. And you'll even find joy in the world. You reckon? Seems a long way off now, but... I do love. I do. There you go. You probably shouldn't have another one. Don't be daft, you're drowning your sorrows. What on earth does she see in Pat feeling? Something she doesn't see in me clearly. He's gruff, sour-faced, burly. He's a proper hard man, unlike me. You're a professional criminal. You've been to prison. Well, I suppose. Now I just work in a cab office. Well, I used to work in a cab office. Michael. No, I, I, I can't work there anymore with Eileen. It's too painful. She's a fool. Maybe I'm the fool. No. One time, I had a wife, a son, a job. I've got none of them. You can get them back. Maybe not the son, but the job. The wife. I don't think so. Sorry, Gail. Excuse me. Thanks. Billy, I'm getting mildly irritated now. And we all know it's a very short step from mild irritation to full-blown tantrum. Same again, Sean. Hang on a sec, Gail. Listen, if you've taken out another old deer to the bingo, then I will not be happy. Oh, there you are. Where have you been? Oh, my goodness. What's happened? It's a, it's a long story. Which we just told to the police. The police? Yeah, get yourself a large glass of wine, babe. You're going to need it. Can I have one too, please? Maybe? I thought you were coming upstairs. Yeah, well, I've got stuff to do. Can't you wait till tomorrow? No, I need to get on top of things. Yeah, well, I was hoping for that and all. Tim, I'm serious. I mean, it suddenly hit me. I'm a counsellor. I hold a position of great responsibility. You haven't even started the job yet. But I have. As soon as that result was announced, I became a politician. I need to email the rest of the council and introduce myself, work out my schedule. Oh, there's so much to do. Oh, look, even politicians need to relax, love. Yeah, well, I relax when everything's done. Can I watch telly, then? Of course you can. Well, once they'd heard the full story and then spoken to Marta, they released us without charge. So what's going to happen to her? Contact her family and arrange for her to go home. Well. The old Driscolls will be prosecuted, we hope. I can't believe you didn't tell me any of this. I couldn't. Not really. Not because of my big mouth? Well... Did you really break into their house? Yeah, I'm, I'm not proud of it. I think it's the bravest thing I've ever heard. Could have been a lot worse if Aidan hadn't shown up, pulled Richie off us. That's the second bravest thing I've ever heard. Are you okay? I'm gonna turn it. Coffee? No, sir. It's getting late. I gotta be up early. Well, I've had another fun evening. Yeah, me too. I I'm glad we're taking things slow. We take it whatever pace you want. Slow's good. Okay. Well, time for bed. I'll, um, show you how. I meant your bed. Thank God for that. <laughs> Ooh, that looks painful. Look at them hoops. <sighs> Did you speak to Anna then? Did she have an affair with Fila? I don't want to talk about it, Sophie. How was your mother on cloud nine? Well, she's gonna be a nightmare, uh... In fact, I bet that's Tim now desperate to get away. Oh. Oh. Did you uh, yeah, come through. I'm just gonna tidy my room because it's a mess. Hiya. Hey, um... I came to say that I was sorry about before. Don't be daft. No, I am, because, um... 
Because I want you to. There, I've said it. And breathe. <laughs> you don't have to say it if you don't mean it. I do. I couldn't say it before because you caught me off guard. You know, when I told you about feeling, I thought that you'd be angry and disgusted. Instead, you said that you want me. I wasn't expecting it. I think we make a great team. Me too. Councillor Sally won't be very pleased, will she? Mm. What's she going to do? Pass a new bylaw? <laughs> You did a great thing. I thought they were decent people. I completely trusted them. Well, you weren't to know. I gambled so much on the Miva. Sure, we got the money through, but that's the last penny we'll see. No more orders. They were setting up a monthly commission and all. Oh. How am I going to tell my dad and Carla? The factory was doing all right before the old Driscoll's. But it wasn't. It nearly went under. And my dad warned me not to put my eggs in one basket. I'm such an idiot. Hey, you are not an idiot. You're the opposite of an idiot. Whatever that is. What you did today, the risk you took for me, I think you're amazing. No, I'm an idiot. Still to come tonight with some absolute corkers. We've It'll Be All Right on the night. Over on ITV4, Piers Brosnan is 007 in Die Another Day. And on ITVB, she's looking for love. We've all knew The Bachelorette next. prevent an even worse time to come. Home Fires, the new series, coming soon on ITV. Here's to the tongue-out types.